Hi, welcome back to Have Yarn Creations. My name is Erin and it is Thursday, August the 8th, 2019. And I thought we'd talk about some yarn in our crochet. So my finished objects. My first finished object, I did it. Last week I told you I was gonna try and get it done and I did. I finished my sweater. I worked all hard on it all week. And I finally finished it Tuesday night. I did, well I was watching TV, but I didn't do my ends until this morning. So it's all finished, I haven't washed it yet. But here it is. So what I did, it's all done uh, in half double crochets, back loops only, so you get some texture to it as you can clearly see here. What I did is in the bottom edge that I showed you last week, and then I did it again in the middle is I did uh, two rows of the crisscross double crochet and a single uh, crochet row center uh, in between. And I did that and I gave it some side laps to make it fit a little bit better. Now the neck, I just did a single row of the crisscross with uh, half, uh, with um, single crochet on either side of it. And then I did two rows on the sleeves and it fits really good. I'm excited, I love it. Now it's not real soft, but I'm sure it will soften up a lot in the wash. And so here you go. You can see, I stand up, you can see that crisscross right there across the bot in the middle. So, and I really like it. It's actually, I'm a big Oklahoma Sooners fan, so this is Sooners colors. I know those of you who root for Alabama are going to say it's Alabama, but I decided I was going to make this for my game day shirt to watch my football. So, my second finished object, I did get another one done, is basket. And it was actually a challenge by my 14-year-old who son. He, I had four skeins of woolies and I asked him if I made him a basket if he'd want one. And he went, well, he goes, only if it's really big, it can be like fit that chair into it, this chair that I've got right here. And I said, I don't know if I can do that, but with four skeins of Lion Brands Woolies, thick and quick, it is a super bulky six, and it is recommended for a nine millimeter knitting, knitting needles or nine millimeter hook, and it is machine washable and dryable. And so anyway, I, it's 80% acrylic, 20% wool. It is five ounce and 87 yards per skein. And I did four skeins and it came out. Oh, the colorway is desert and it came out, ta-da! Now, it can't quite fit the chair, but it is 13 inches in diameter and it has eight inch walls. So it's really tall and the walls stand up on their own. They do a really good job of standing up partially because I didn't use the nine millimeter hook. I used uh, an H, which is only a five millimeter hook, but that pulled it really tight and made those walls stand up much better. So, and it, the walls are all done in half double crochet. The bottom I did in double crochet and just, did the build on the, the circle like you do. When you start off with 12 and the next one, you do two crochet, two double crochet in each of the single crochet from the previous round. And then the third round you do two cro double crochet and a single crochet. And then the fourth round you do two double crochet and two single double crochets, two individual double crochets. Anyway, so that's how that works and until you build it to the size you want. And so I did the same thing there. And then when I got the size I wanted, I started building up the sides with half double crochets really tight so it holds those walls up. And the third one I finished, I was watching Seta's Place. Um, I'm a new subscriber for Seta and um, she's traveling across the U.S. And one of the things she made for herself was a, like a little purse that she could put her phone in. And so I did one myself. I was inspired by hers. Now hers um, is 
a foam bag and it's, she crocheted a square and slip stitched that in there so she could put her ID and stuff in it and had a handle. And she redid another, she had done one in the past and she did another one for this trip and it had a double handle. So I was inspired by hers and this is it. I used popcorn stitches and it is made with Yarn Bees Sugar Wheel Cotton. I don't have the tag because this was left over for making some purses for my um, sister-in-law and my niece for Christmas. So this is 100% cotton. It's a lightweight number three. The colorway is Zest Wishes. And it's recommended knitting needle is a four millimeter. And the hook size is a 4.5 or a seven. And I used a G on the top. I used an H on the bottom, on the on the body of it. And then I used the G on the top because I, I found out that if I use a tighter knitting needle, if I switch on the top of the crochet needle, I mean, that it pulls it tighter enough, not a whole bunch, but keeps it from being as floppy on the, on the top edge and it pulls it in. So um, I used a couple of buttons that I had that are a little bit of bling that I had used for a previous project. And I put a ring on it so you can hook it to your purse with a clip or you can, da, 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 here we go. So you got this and that is the strap and you take it through this, through the hoop or the ring and you button it on and you can do that to your purse as well if you don't have a hook to hook it on with and then or you can just hang on to it with this little strap so it doesn't go anywhere I also I wanted my stuff inside a little bit more secure so I put a flap and a button and the reason why this is standing up so well is because I have a phone case inside of it my phone is a iPhone 7 uh, the plus size so this case is fits it and so you can see it's very large it will fit really well it is I'll measure it real quick here it is eight inches across and four inches high and I would say it's easily half an inch yeah it's about a half an inch to an inch thick in the inside pocket. And so when I take this out, you can see I made an integral pocket. I could say it's an integral pocket. It is created inside. So when I was stitching it around, what I did is when I came back here and I wanted to make the pocket, I started off with doing back loops only and stitched across and I made my rectangle and then folded it to make the pouch and I slip stitched up here and then I restarted back up here where I left off in doing front loops only so you cannot see at least not really easy where that pocket is and the cool thing about it is okay so here's my cards that you can put in that pocket nice and easy I'm just using some insurance cards so there you go and then what you do watch this I thought this was fun so what you can do is you can turn that pocket inside out use it the same way put that in there but when you do and close it put that in there it's not gonna fall out even if this is open even if your flaps not buttoned or it comes unbuttoned the stuff is not gonna fall out so that is my last of my finished objects. I really like it. It is also, it's machine wash cold, tumble dry low, and low iron. The, the yarn is, and that's for the sugar wheel cotton. Now, I would probably not wash it in the washer. I would do hand wash because of this ring that I'm adding, and then do a lay flat to dry. But it feels so nice and the popcorns are real fun and this is the popcorns it's a row of popcorn every other stitch uh, I did a half double in between and then I did a row of single crochet and then I so I would have a good anchor point for the next row of popcorns 
So my, that was the last of my finished objects. I've got one object that I'm working on currently, and it's another one of those purse bags. And this one is just for me. I have another, I'm working on that pocket. I haven't sewn the sides up, but I'm working on the pocket. And I did this one in the same yarn as my sweater. So it again is that Premier Rodeo. When I bought the yarn, I bought a whole bunch of it because I bought it for a different pattern. So now I've got all this yarn, I've got to <laughs> figure out things to do, but I really like it and it's it's nice. And it, so what I did is this was just every other row is the crisscross. And now this row here is a double, it's two rows of single crochet because I fitted in the pocket with that one. So, and again, you can't really see real clearly that the pocket was ever part of that because I did back loops only to make the pocket and then I went back up on the top where I finished and did the front loops only and so it made a clean surface to do that. So I have only one acquisition. It is buttons for the purse. So I thought that these would look really cute and fun to add for my purse that I'm making for me to carry with my sweater. So thank you so much for joining me today and I hope that you will join me again. Please uh, feel free to hit that thumbs up like button and uh, or subscribe if you'd like to hear some more and let me know what you think. Let me know what you would like to see more of and thank you so much for joining me. Remember if you have yarn, be creative. Have a lovely day.